Yeah, trick I'm up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, trick I'm up. Hello. Hello. How's everybody? How are you doing? My name is Stacy, and I work with the company 50 and 50 Inc. Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. My name is Stacy, and I really believe in all of the products I have for you today. I really think we have some cool stuff that's innovative. So, first product, we are converting the idea of what used to be like telephone booths into pri a privacy booth where men can go to relieve stress. <laughs> so the window is tinted. No one can see what's happening in there. My concern really is, like, people seeing you go in. I don't think people would judge. I don't know. It just feels like so out in the open. Girl, like, men I, have no shame. I guess if they don't men have, have no shame, <laughs> none guess, at I mean... all. <laughs> I would say maybe like maybe next to the men's room. So, you know. Even like in uh, not just workplaces, but uh, gas stations or even churches. Uh, Is this a judgment? Because God forgives if you think that that's something to be judged about. Moving on. This is a magnified version of what this is, but it's um, essentially a chip. Oh. <laughs> the size of a fingernail. What? And it can be implanted into your husband or boyfriend or whatever's neck. And guess what the great part about this is? You can track your man. I'm not that insecure to be tracking my man. <laughs> I have enough trust. Is your man beautiful? Is he fine? I'm secure in my relationship. So he's not attractive enough to be worried He's attractive, about but I don't need to track oh, where oh, he's oh, going to. <laughs> like, you, like, what man is going to agree to that? Now, if you're faithful, you don't really have anything to worry about. You're going to put that thing on me, you're going to put one more thing on you also. Seem a little spiteful now, dude. Got to put yeah. one on me, put one on you, too. <laughs> Somebody's had a heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> it can be done at home through an injection while he's asleep. What if it malfunctions, like technology malfunctions? If he's cheating, do you really care? I said insecure women will buy this product. Yeah. Yes, a lot right. of insecure women will buy it. You will buy it. You damn right. <laughs> okay, next. This is a crib. As you can see, it has a secure top that locks. So kids can't get out. You can feed them through these bars. You can give them toys through these bars. Like maximum security crib life. It's a cage. Yeah. So look at it. <laughs> First of all, a cage is uh, not as secure as this. But more importantly, like the reality is a lot of black kids end up behind bars. This is kind of like a preparatory so that it's not so jarring. There's so many single moms that are out here in the African-American community. You can leave your child in this Cage crib for like hours. Uh, just to tell you, you didn't, you didn't put, you didn't present it very well. No one in my family has ever been to jail. Okay, we happen to be in an anomaly of a room. Yo, you're being very offensive. We've just improved the safety and the security of your child. I would like to see how these children turn out later. Yeah. <laughs> so I have one more. Okay. Sexual offenders can't be in certain areas because they have to be away from places where children frequent. So what this app allows them to do is to be in the park and see the sunshine and the trees and watch kids play and listen to them laugh or whatever, but they're not against any legal. So it's a win-win it's a for everybody. Is it about them just living their lives and just existing and being able to get some sunshine? Or is it for them to go and like look at children? We're not saying, go look at kids, but it gives right. them the ability okay. to take the edge off. Just to be clear, John, you are pro-pedophile. <laughs> no. Oh, my God, what? This is just to kind of cater to their obsession. So it gives them the, the access to the kids. I thought this was just saying, like, they can go and know where can I legally be so I can go and go for a run in the park. I, I get you. We're on the same page. I know you need to, like, kind of cover it up because it feels like, whoa, I'm out on a limb, but, no, but I I'm got not. where you were. I you misunderstood. You, you, I, you I are for the safety of 
a pedophile so that they can also feel safe and enjoy the things that make them happy and turn them on. Or no, whatever. that's not what I'm saying at all. Elliot, how do you? I understand that you want the, um, you want the children not to, um, you know, not to be in any danger. <laughs> Elliot, you are a not pro pedophile. And John is pro, but it's talking about safety for the pedophiles to feel safe. That's no still judgment. not what I'm saying. Okay, John, I got what you're saying. For them to be there and yeah. like watch kids, yeah. I'm not okay with it. You're not for pedophiles. Yeah. And John is. Okay, Matt? <laughs> that's literally what that, I was That's saying. what he was trying to convey, yeah. Okay, so not pro pedophile, pro, pro pedophile, pro Jesus pedophile. Christ. You said no. Whatever. Let me clarify. Okay. I'm gonna tell you guys what, I, what I'm pro. I'm pro in 50 Central on BET, and you are a part of it.